Well, hopefully we can stop hearing from people now about how Georgia is the greatest team in the history of history because this is absolutely embarrassing. And uh, it's, it's not it's not that Kent State's a terrible team because they're not a, not a terrible team. I mean, they're way better than uh, Samford. They're, hell, they're probably even better than South Carolina. But uh, it's not even the score of the game, really, that's aggravating. It's Georgia's just complete lack of effort and concentration and execution on offense. has just been absolutely pitiful. Uh, Stetson Bennett missing throws. Uh, Lad McConkey. Why this guy keeps getting put in the game today is beyond me. This guy's his head's not in the game. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if he stayed out too late last night. I don't know if he's got a cold or if he's sick or if he just doesn't give a fuck. I don't know. But the guy, he's the worst player on the field today, by far. Um, he, he, he muffs a punt, uh, which led to the first Kent State points. Uh, he has a fumble. He's got um, how many drop passes does he have, one of which would have been a touchdown. I mean, he can't do anything right today. I don't know what's going on with him, but for whatever reason, his head's not in the game today. He should not have seen the field after that first quarter. Why they kept putting him back in in the second quarter, I don't know. Put anybody else out there. I'm no, I'm no Lad McConkey hater. He's had some good games. He's, he's decent for what he is, but today ain't his day. He ain't got no business seeing the field the rest of the day today. The defense, I think, has played okay. They did give up that one long play down the sideline on a hitch pass. It was just, you know, a pass thrown right at the line of scrimmage, and the, the, the wide receiver gets by the first guy, and he just outruns everybody. That was that was bad. Other than that, the defense has played good. It's just this offense is just absolutely horrendous today. Um, everybody's a step off. Everybody's a step slow. Nobody's on the same page. you got wide receivers running one route and sets a minute throwing a pass for a completely different route, sets a minute throwing the ball at people's feet. I mean, they've had some decent plays. I mean, the only thing you can count on today for Georgia is the same thing you can count on every week, Brock Bowers. I mean, this guy's an absolute beast. Uh, he's got two of Georgia's three touchdowns. That gives him five touchdowns total over the last two games going back to the South Carolina game. He's just unbelievable. He showed up ready to go. Unfortunately, he's the only one. Uh, the offensive line can't run block to save their life. Uh, this just looks pitiful. So I'm glad I made a video a couple of days ago asking people to slow down a little bit on all this friggin' Georgia hype that I'm seeing everywhere. Yes, Georgia looked like the best team through the first three weeks of the season. Well, guess what? After today, we're going to be four weeks into the season, and I don't know. We'll see what Alabama looks like against Vandy, what Ohio State looks like against Wisconsin. Michigan is struggling with Maryland. Uh, right now, I, like, I'm not putting Georgia number one in my poll. I, that, that, that was just not a good first half for Georgia at all. Not a good first half. They're up, what are they, up 26 to 13? A safety, a field goal, a couple of touchdowns, whatever it is. It's not good. Three touchdowns, a safety, and a field goal. Kent State, two field goals and a touchdown. Now, 10 of Kent State's points are a direct result of Ladd McConkey turnovers, but still. Um, so I'm not upset with the defense. I think overall the defense has played well. They gave up that one touchdown, and no, they shouldn't have given that up. It, you know, a uh, hitch pass, you miss a tackle, the guy's gone. I just, you can't, obviously, you can't have that. But overall, the defense has played well, considering the offense... Uh, can't get out of its own way, but uh, as, as, as mad and as upset as I am about Georgia's performance today offensively, I'm almost glad this is happening because the, the, the amount of talk and chatter over the last seven to ten days, but really since the Carolina game, about how good this Georgia team is, even for a homer like me, has been sickening. Um, sickening. Three weeks into the season and people are already comparing them to this team from certain years and that team from a certain year. And I'm like, come on. We're three weeks in. Yeah, they played good. They looked really good the first three weeks. Let's get a little bit more ways into the season. And today's not good. Not good. I mean, if Ohio State comes out and houses Wisconsin today by 30 or 40 points, how do you not move Ohio State ahead of UGA? If Bama comes out and houses Vandy, how do you not move them ahead of UGA? So I don't know. Um, I've had UGA number one in my rankings. The AP and the coaches, I believe, do too. It hasn't looked like that today. Um, has, this is, has not been good at all. At all. Um, all the talk and everything about wanting to see a bunch of Carson Beck and Brock Vandergriff and maybe even Gunnar Stockton in the second half and hang that up. You can forget that. You can forget that right now. We'll be lucky to see any of them even in the fourth quarter if things continue this way. But anyway, halftime score, Georgia 25, Kent State 13. Worst game of the season so far offensively for Georgia. This is worse than the Sanford game. In the Sanford game, they would drive the ball down the field couldn't score a touchdown and would kick a field goal. In this game, they just can't even drive the ball. They can't run to save their life. Not one, but two Lad McConkey turnovers, um, multiple drop passes by Lad McConkey and others, multiple bad passes by Stetson Bennett, terrible offensive line run blocking, 
by far the worst offensive game I've seen all year by uh, Georgia. We'll see what they do in the second half to try to tighten it up. It could be it's too late to tighten this thing up. I don't know what they did all week. I don't know if they coasted. I, I don't know what they were doing all this week. But you, you'd think they would have learned their lesson from that Samford game when it was obvious that by overlooking Samford or not taking them serious or whatever they did the week leading up to Samford, it, it was obvious that that led to them not playing well. But they didn't learn no lessons from that because here we are again uh, with another uh, lower classification team. Now, Samford was an FCS team. This is a group of five. And Kent State's not a terrible team, but they shouldn't be, it, it shouldn't be 25 to 13. Um, Kent State is good. Oh, look, Oregon's good, and that was 49 to 3. It, this game should have been something similar to that. Right now, it's not. No excuses for Georgia today. They look absolutely terrible.